Good morning. This is Belinda with Belinda's Bobbles, and welcome to the DFW Fiber Fest Day. Today I am heading over to the Fiber Fest. I am exhausted. My eyes are red. I got home after 9 p.m. last night from court, um, and I have been in jury duty all week. Do I want to do it again anytime soon? No. Um, but it has made it to where today I don't even have my nails done. It's okay. I know I'm not British, but the weather. I'm going to a fiber festival and it is 85 degrees out there right now. It's not even 9 a.m. And it's supposed to get up into the 90s and feel like it's the 100s. There's heat advisories for today. Uh, I have two yarn outfits that I made this week that I wanted to wear for the yarn festival, one or the other. I can't even imagine putting them on. I'm in my secret summer crop right now, <laughs> which is bamboo and cotton. That's all I've been able to handle putting on yarn-wise. Uh, but today is probably going to be a very different video than last year. Am I going to make it to all the booths? I don't know. I'm going to take it slow, take it easy, and take you along on my journey through the DFW Fiber Fest as I am definitely going to be using fiber today to kind of rejuvenize myself and get me back into my normal walk of life. Uh, but let's see what we can see. Let's go find out. Okay, I have made it to the parking garage, which was absolutely packed. I've never been here on a Saturday. Usually I'm here on a Sunday. And I am heading down. Just wanted to say hi. I didn't do any videoing of the drive because I was trying to pay attention and talk on the phone with my cousin. <laughs> and try not to fall down these stairs. Okay, so we are on parking level three. Help me remember that, okay, in case I have to come back and ask you. So here we go. Let's go to the yarn show. Okay, so I've got yarn bombing behind me. I have my ticket to go in. And I also have my map. So are you guys ready for some fun? So come explore with me some of these different uh, yarn vendors that we're going to be looking at today. Their names will be prominent on here, and I'll be jumping in and out depending on whether or not I recorded some um, interviews or talks on the day. I just wanted this to be a chance for us to just kind of walk through here together looking at all this luscious yarn. And isn't this color gorgeous the magenta this will be the first episode for the um, DFW fiber festival it'll be in either two or three episodes I'm not sure just yet I'm just getting out what I can as quickly as I can and then I also have another yarn festival coming up after this that I've already recorded so lots of yarny goodness coming now these bags are just so amazing Look at this, emotional baggage. Isn't that the truth? There's also a backpack that's going to be shown in just a moment. And then I'll be back with you in a little bit because this next vendor, I was able to talk to the husband. Now let's see, where was that backpack I wanted to show you? Mm, those are cute too. Ah, this is the backpack. Isn't that great? So where are y'all out of? We're near Gonzales, Texas. I don't know what that is. No. About 60 miles, kind of 
southeast of Austin. Okay. We've got uh, 40 to 50 alpacas of our own. I also and, uh, They keep us busy. Yeah, they seem to be very unique animals. They are. <laughs> I grew up on a farm and ranch, you know, but I never dreamed that yeah, I, <laughs> we I got know. alpacas now, <laughs> but we do. Oh, cool. So, yeah. I'm when just I first started moving. dating her, she was belonged to a fiber guild at a Hobby Lobby in San Antonio. And then they went on a tour to a outside the farm and that's all it took. That, got that was it. I think we started out with three or four animals and now we got about forty or fifty. Wow. Isn't that an amazing love story? Okay, so the Spotted Circus here, they have um, entire fleeces, including ones ready for you to wash and everything else, as well as yarn and fiber. They had a little bit of everything. Here in the city, you don't see fleeces like this very often. At least I haven't. Mm, let's see, what else do we have here? Look at those braids. Warm Up America was set up. People were um, donating to that. And there was even a chiropractor set up in the corner there. Then the Oregon woodworker, he was only there on Saturday. He wasn't going to be there on Sunday. But he, these are handmade swifts. And I had a great conversation with him. You want to say hi? Say hi. <laughs> okay, this bulky yarn has me intrigued. This is at the Hen House. And I saw this in a couple of different spots, and it's new to me. Have y'all seen this before? It's basically the fiber is just wound up tight with a netting of nylon to make a bulky yarn. Now, I love that lay flat to dry different bags and everything she had a variety of items in here I think she has a um, physical shop somewhere in Texas but just looking at all the different items now make sure you do look at all my other videos that I put up too because each one will have some different special things that are just for it. Alk and me also had all these great pigtails of fiber. Look at all of that. I need to start spinning, don't I? <laughs> I need something else. Here's some more of this. Now take a look at this. And I'm going to show you the very tip of it. Oh, where is it? I showed it. There we go. Look at that. Tumbleweed yarn. Bill won yarn here last year from them. It's self-striping. It is so cool. I really like theirs. They had some cute bags as well and some deals on their um, solids and semi-solids. I told you we're just going to be walking through here Pretend you're right next to me as we walk through here. And we're going to explore the Fiber Festival together. So I know where I was again. <laughs> Savvy Skeins had a cute gimmick. I had to do this. Just for you guys, I went and paid $5 to get a quarter. <laughs> here we go. Let's see see what we get from the gumball machine. I mean, getting yarn from a gumball machine, I had to do it. Like I need another mini, right? But there it is. That was fun. I love her shirts. She always has some really great shirts as well as yarn, of course. Oh, look at these colors. Mm. Now this top 
over here caught my attention. We'll go back to it, but look at this. Lots of different highlighter and um, black light reactive colors. And that's worsted weight there. That would really knit up fast or crochet fast. I didn't get any, but I really do need to get some from her. Now look at this top. This top is still in testing. And I've been told she's still looking for some testers. I love the flowers on here. It's crocheted. And here's the information on who is the designer. The Pasquale booth is here just for tasting. We're not selling anything. Um, I'm the sales rep, so I have the entire line here for shoppers to touch and feel and decide what they like and then take it take that information back to their local yarn store for them to add to their inventory. Now where are you out of? Where's the um companies out of Germany. Out of Germany, okay, cool. What are you gonna make? Um, I'm not sure, maybe a headband, maybe maybe a couple headbands. So this is the entire Pusquale line. Okay, so this one is pinta. Pinta is a Spanish word usually used in the expression tener buena pinta that I just killed, which means to look good. It can be used to describe just about anything from food to clothes, a piece of art, a movie, or an object, and so it is that when Paul Pasquale saw this beautiful blend of merino, silk, and ramy, and it is so soft, he couldn't help but think that it looked amazingly good. He was right. Of course, I picked up one that needs to be pearled back. Uh, he, was, he was right. It not only looked good, it felt fabulous to the touch, which it does, and so he called it Pinta. Pasquale is out of Germany. They're here for us to just do our little sampling of all these different types and then speak to the yarn, our, our local yarn shop. So probably in about 30 minutes, we're going to make it over to Heather. <laughs> I guess it helps when your local yarn shop is here with you, but doesn't it? <laughs> oh, this is so, so soft. You don't need smell vision, you need fill of vision here. I definitely wasn't expecting a um, yarn tasting. Now here's Chaos. I love all of her um, yarns, her colors, her bags are always great. And she's here in Texas. And you can find her on the internet. All, all these different vendors that are in this video, I'll have their names linked in the description box below, as well as how you can get a hold of me if you're needing any additional information. But look at all these bright colors that she does and her minis. She does some great minis. Oh, look at that wrap. Now, isn't this a great idea? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Hot Boheme, I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. She's just moved from Maryland back to Colorado, and so she has her four corners. So let's listen in as she tells us a little bit about it. I love the four corners idea. <laughs> I don't want to interrupt. No, you're fine. Um, have you shopped with me before? No, I have not. So I do things a little different. I dye in pellets. So I dye okay. in groups that are made to coordinate. Okay. You can kind of tell by looking. Yeah. Take mm -hmm. a look. Um, so on the label, there's a pellet name and a colorway name. Anything in the same pellet is meant to coordinate. <laughs> Okay, she had some older lines here, which were like superhero women or women of history, things along those lines. 
and the tweed. I really love the color tweed. It just looks so cool to me. Mm. The things uh -huh. you wish you got. But I was trying to be good. I really was. I was trying to get through here, record everything, and then go back. Like I usually have time for that. And yes, she did move from Maryland to Colorado recently. Okay, get ready. I'm about to go fangirl on you. You'll see. Sorry, getting to see it in person. I'm like, ah! <laughs> I've just introduced myself. Okay, you guys know. I forgot to push the play button. <laughs> Y'all know where my mindset is this week, but I am, I'm also so excited. Can you guess who I'm here with? Can I give you a hint? <laughs> and we've just been sitting, standing here talking and I'm so sorry y'all missed that. <laughs> okay, yeah. So um, tell me about your inspiration. Well, my inspiration. Uh, okay, so, okay, I like to um, wear mm -hmm. what I make. See, that's me too. Yes. That's why I'm sitting here sweating. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was determined to wear this today. So, important to you wear after knitting. Sometimes people knit, um, people don't wear because it doesn't fit well. Right. It's not style you like to wear. So, I like to people wear after knitting, so my design is very customized the way people like to wear. I also like the fact that your pieces, not only are they customizable, but they're very airy. Yes. So that they are very good for the Texas temperature yes, here. Because I'm from Arizona. Okay. I, I understand the heat. Yeah, because I mean, yes. you're, here I'm seeing over here silk and cotton mm -hmm. um, combinations and everything, and it's just amazing to me to be able to wear things year round. Yes, you can wear tank top under or you can wear long sleeve under, depends on weather, but it's a useful piece. Oh. Yes. Well, thank you for having patience with me and <laughs> standing here talking to me. <laughs> thank you for, for stopping coming. Back. Thank thank you so please, yes, please spend time and look around. I will. Thank you. Getting the chance to talk to you, Miko, was amazing. She was such a beautiful person in and inside and out. And this yarn, oh, so silky, so cool to the touch. It is a great yarn for hot weather. And I'm wanting to do a joinery. It was so cool seeing it in person. And she graciously let... Um, another lady try it on uh, because she was unsure of how it would work for her body type. Oh, I had fun in that booth. Crafted by Locals just has a little bit of everything in there. I didn't get a chance to talk to anybody about it or anything, but I mean, there's just a little bit of everything. Take a look with me. Check out these baskets back here, and then we're going to get a tour on the next booth with Queen City Yarn. We started with Noda and Biddleville. Um, we started designing these beautiful hand paints and coordinating tonals, trying to make it really easy for you to pick two uh, um, multicolored projects. So that's where we started. On your left over here with Coleman is where we went to. Um, so it's a silk linen blend. We've got it in fingering and DK. And it's wow. perfect for warm weather garments. Yes, which we have to have here in Texas. Yes. Which is why I have my secret summer crop underneath that I'm going back down to in a moment. <laughs> um, so yeah, those are... Um, Just making sure I get the name of your <laughs> yeah. everything in here. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's information for the salty air tea that's hanging yeah. out there. Um, so then from Coleman, we moved on to Lada. So all of this is Lada. It's a non-superwash sport weight. It comes from a flock. Uh, so it's for fitting. Um, it's a non-superwash sport weight. It comes from a flock in the Pacific Northwest. It's a Merino Rambouillet blend. Okay. Um, and yeah, it comes in 22 colors. And we wanted to make it so you only need to buy as much yarn as you actually need. We assume you're going to do color work projects with it. So we've got 25 grams, 100 grams, and then 400 grams. Oh, wow. So. Now, your 400 grams, are those continuous? or yep. Wow. It's one giant skein. No wins. <laughs> or very few. <Yep. laughs> So, and then Lottie down here is a Feederbrook Farm yarn. They make that for us. Um, that is our exclusive color. Okay. And where are y'all out of? We're out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Carowinds. Yes. <laughs> exactly. I grew up partly in North Carolina, so spent a lot of time going down to Charlotte from Winston. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then our newest yarn is Bernice. It's a Surrey silk. So, and it comes in all of the same lata colors. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, so we have DJ Alpacas. You'll recognize them from the Alpaca Farm Days we did not too long ago. <laughs> When it was much cooler. <laughs> Next weekend. Uh, well. He was reminding me of the alpaca farm days that was coming up uh, the following weekend, which, of course, I wasn't here in Texas at that time, but I promised I would go back for their Christmas event. Uh, they have a um, opening or um, a farm day at Christmas. I need some place that I can wear that. Okay, on to more yarn. Yarn Dragon Fibers, the colors are just bright, vibrant, happy, and everybody is just so, so nice. Now, are you making a list? Things to go back and look at for yourself, things to look up online. Most all of these vendors do have online presence uh, to where you can order, uh, especially within the United States. I don't know about outside. Mm, look at the sparkle. <laughs> oh, good. Thank you. Much better than I have been all week. I really did have a great day. It is, and I needed this. I've been in jury duty all week. Okay, You Can Stitch It has some really cute kits. And You to Yarn is from Waxahachie. Um, I will have taken you to her movement. shop during the yarn crawls. So check them out down in Waxahachie with the yarn crawls always so many beautiful things that this is their line and they do packs of like five minis that are put together and that's the show color way there and they do the show color way in a lot of different um, bases with some coordinating colors too. Here's Fiber Lady from Louisville. They manufacture bamboo yarn. Again, I would have shown you um, their setup there with their new shop. And who do we have around the corner? Hey! Hey! <laughs> Well, see, and you can get away with the foofy skirt. I actually it works for her. It does. 
tape there is the one that I'm doing the test crochet pattern for. So it was great getting a chance to actually meet up with well, her in person. So nice this is more on. here still oh, of yeah. Um, yeah, that's Fiber Lady. But anyways, the About Time tea will be released probably in the next week. So around the 15th of October, I just finished mine and I'm getting some pictures done this weekend. So be on the lookout for that. Now what says knitting and crochet like pottery? They really do a great job here as far as getting the textures and everything. Look at these spoons. They actually have knitting texture here and crochet texture on them. And these buttons. Oh. Aren't they to die for? How's this for some gorgeous baskets? I hope you have something to eat or drink or you know, you've got your feet propped up while you're going on this little adventure with me today. Again, don't forget to come back for the other um, episodes because they are all jam-packed. There's still so much more to come. You are able to get your um, bags if you purchased a monogram there. And here's Madeline Tosh. They are Fort Worth based originally and this is their show colorway cowgirl up and they also have a Don Barker collaboration with Barker wool and this was called sagebrush Sally and I was having a little bit of trouble getting over to be able to see it hold on wait our turn there's a lot more people here than you can see. I tried to kind of protect some people's um, privacy and everything, but I did get some video of all the crowds a little later on. Here it is with the sagebrush Sally. Maureen, give me the wave again, Maureen. <laughs> I had to put the name in first, you know. <laughs> It's only going to take me two weeks to go back through this thing. <laughs> okay, where are they? Where are they? Okay. Is this them, Maureen? Okay. All right. Good. <laughs> now to color. Now to figure out colors. Mm -hmm. All right. Do I want that one, or do I want that one? I want this one. I know I want this one. <laughs> Okay, you guys are seeing me breaking down. I'm actually buying something while I'm still recording. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Attention in the vendor hall. Attention in the vendor hall. Right now, in the vibratory in the back, we have JC with Pride Magazine doing a demo and a talk. If you want to join her, please go back now. Okay. And we have a new winner, too. I'm looking for Jenna. Okay, with all the announcements overhead and everything, you should really feel like you were there. I really need to try this too. There's so many things that I need to try. Mmm. Including making a chicken. Ah. Speaking of chicken, 
Here we are at Chicken Coop Dye Works. And look at this crochet cardigan. Oh, with a hood even. And you never know who you are going to see on the Walk of Fame. Talk about color overload. You always find it here. Oh, I'm gonna sit back and let you just peruse with me. Hi. Mm. Oh, always. I'm around yarn. I can't help but have fun. Isn't it great to just be wrapped in all this yarny goodness? And here's some of the people that were there. I mean, tell you, they're everywhere. Gives you a little bit of a look of some of the crowds. And this is what I've been cutting out of a lot of the video <laughs> as far as me wandering around people. And here we have Quixotic Fibers. And the yarn baby saying hi to me. I see. <laughs> now they're located here in Texas and in Florida now. And again, one of the ones that um, you can take a look at their full shop um, on the yarn crawl. and they bring so many things. <laughs> Bill made a visit to that wall. They even bring a lot of their needles. Lemonwood did a DFW Fiber Festival um, yarn minder that was limited edition that was really cool looking. But I have several yarn minders right now, so I didn't need a new one. These are so cool looking. And hi to Juju's crew. Love the signage. Looks like y'all. Oh, wishing I had a chance to sit down, but not until a little bit later on. <laughs> all sorts of different displays and people showing and look at this we even have a doodle bar going on here here we had uh, my mind went blank on them Pacific Knit Co they did a Texas card for color work and I mean this booth was jam-packed with people everybody trying to figure out which doodle pack they need I have one I haven't even broken into yet oh. I think this was probably the most crowded booth I was in But everyone was so happy at the same time. What would you want to design using doodles? Hmm. I wonder. So they had Yarnalicious Fibers, Fangirl Fibers, and Pacific all in that one booth. Okay, on to our next. Oh, there's just so much to see. including making 3D items, including buttons. 
Look at these 3D buttons. Or rather, 3D printed buttons. So I've made it to On The Lamb's booth for a little bit of lunch, chance to relax, do a little knitting, talking, and I'll see you guys in part two.